Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Roma and it's been a long time since I last filmed. I'm sorry guys, pero I went to a vacation. We went to Greece for one week and then I went to the Philippines for five weeks. And this is the first video that I made since I came back to Belgium. And ever since I've been so busy, I have school and yeah, I have school <laughs> and I just don't feel like filming the last few days because I kind of miss the Philippines. For today's video, I am going to test out the new EB Collection Multitask Palette. This is a multitask palette that includes blush, contour, powder, and highlight, and 8 eyeshadows. So this is a good on-the-go palette. That's if, if everything is going to work. And you're going to see that at the end of the video. So if you want to see what I think about this palette, just keep watching. Hey guys, so I am back. I already did my foundation and a little bit of lip liner and some brows because I just really want to focus on this palette. Yes, you can see I haven't opened it. This is my first time using this palette. This palette is a limited edition palette from EB Collection. It's a cruelty-free, paraben-free palette and it's good for 12 months. I am very excited to try this. It looks like this on the inside. As you can see, hindi pa ako naglagay ng mga contour and highlight and blush. I will try to make use of it. I am going to do some swatches because the feeling ko yung contour niya is masyadong dark and it's very powdery. So the contour looks like this. Titignan na lang natin mamaya dun sa blending. Okay, dun na lang tayo sa blush. This one. That very powdery talaga siya guys. Nung nilagay ko siya sa hand ko, medyo nag-disappear. Pero itatay na lang natin sa face, of course. Iba kasi yung swatches sa blending mismo sa mukha na. I don't know if I like this highlight kasi pinkish siya na highlight. Usually, I like gold highlights. Battery yung consistency niya actually. There you go. That's a real time swatch. Si medyo, medyo dark siya. Parang ka skin tone ko na siya kasi masyado siya. Na. Yung isa, hindi ko alam kung ano yan. I think gagamitin ko na lang yan sa powder after ng lahat ng makeup. This one. Swatch na din natin. Okay, maganda yung swatch. Mm -hmm. Powder lang talaga siya. Ang um, set. Unahin ko na lang yung face ko kasi medyo flat yung face natin after the foundation and powder. So, kita try natin yung um, pang contour down nila, which is this one. Medyo okay. <laughs> Medyo nakatakot ako. Kasi masyadong dark. Ilalagay ko muna dito yung excess sa kamay ko. Oh my god! 
Wait, ibi-blend natin siya ng... Ah, asa yung brush ko? Yeah. Oh my God. Blend natin ng mabuti. Nakita nyo yan? Yung blob ng color sa face ko. I don't know if this... Tapos, nag-stay na lang siya dun. Yung parang ang hirap niyang i-blend. Kasi nag-stay na siya dyan. I don't know why nag-stay siya sa cheeks. Okay. Okay, relax. Gamitin natin yung brush na ginamit ko kanina for setting my face. Oh my God, ayaw talaga matanggal, guys. Kumuha lang ako ng, ano, itong, itong powder na to. Kinuha ko lang siya. Oh my god, hindi talaga siya maganda guys. Okay, okay, relax. Roma. Relax. I don't think gusto ko yan. Kasi mukha siyang mud. Sa face ko. Mukha siyang mud talaga. Tignan nyo. Tignan nyo nga kung maganda yan. Hindi yan maganda. Oh my god, why do this? Oh my god. No. Oh my god. I don't know why ayaw niyang ano, mag-blend. Okay naman yung blush niya actually. It's not the best blush but mas okay na siya kaysa sa contour powder. Gagawin ko lang yung ginagawa ko every time which is set mo na yung face ko bago ako maglagay ng highlight. So let's try their highlight which is a pink highlight. But ito guys, super powdery. Okay, so sa camera, sobrang ganda niya. Um, sa personal, masyado niyang ini-emphasize yung textures. Which is... Hindi naman problema sa akin. Kasi lahat naman ng tao may texture. So, surprisingly, yung highlight talaga ang nagustuhan ko. Kasi ito yung medyo suspicious ako kanina. I'm like, oh, pink highlight. Bagay pa sa akin yan. And it turned out, yeah. Ito pa lang so far yung nagugustuhan ko. Yung contour, yung blush, pwede na. Pero yung highlight, bongga. Bongils. So guys, let's move on to my favorite part which is the eyes. Gagamitin ko lang tong Essence Eye Heart Stage Eye Primer. Let's just do the neutral. Like this part. Maybe this one also. Kukunin ko muna itong shade na to. As you can see, powder it. Oh, actually, 
Actually, not bad. Parang mas pigmented dito. Okay, tagtagan natin dito sa kabila. Let's just do a fall look since malapit na ang fall. This color is very pigmented. So to deepen the crease, I'll just use this. Dito muna sa ating Focus natin. Oh, fall out central. I fall out siya guys ha, so be careful. We'll just take the first brush that we used without any um, additional product and blend lang natin yung dalawang colors together. To deepen the um, outer corner to give us a little dimension gagamitin ko tong contour powder na nandito since ang dark nya guys hmm, ang tayong gagamitin natin shimmer I think I like this one Babasain ko yung brush guys and then I will take that color. Look at that in the brush. So foiled. I hope that translates also in the eye. I will use this for my inner corner and this one for my brow bone color. So guys, I'll just fast forward this part of the video. Gagawin ko lang yung lower lash line ko with the same colors that I used on top. And eyeliner, lashes, mascara, and all that stuff. And then I will be right back. I am back and I'm already done with the eyes and this is how our eye looks like it's so nice actually I love the eyes and the contour of course it's still muddy <laughs> so for our last step before ko sabihin sa inyo what I think of this palette right here I will just use the L'Oreal X Heart Evangelista Love Marie 
lipstick in the shade Hinted Blush. So that's our final look and for my thoughts about this palette um, for 299 pesos actually you cannot beat that I think that is really a good price but the only thing that did not work for me on this palette is the contour shade it's really hard to blend yung nag stay lang siya in one place tapos ang hirap-hirap niyang i-blend which is I don't like yung blush is I think it's nice but for this look I don't think bagay yung blush kasi medyo um, orangey peach yung blush and our look is like pink yung highlighter surprisingly super nagustuhan ko siya like as you can see super blinding siya. Kapag nakaharap kang ganyan, hindi mo pang gray. Parang, alam mo yung minsan sa highlight, pag hindi maganda yung highlight, uh, parang gray siya dito. Makikita mo dito sa harap. Pero maganda siya kapag minug mo yung face mong ganyan. Pero syempre, hindi ka naman palaging nagkaganyan, ba? So, but this one, maganda siya kapag nakaharap. At saka kapag nasisilawan ng araw. Oh my god, I cannot get used to this contour. <laughs> so bad. <sighs> yeah, and for the eyeshadows, I really, really love the shadows here. Very comparable talaga siya sa mga Morphe shadows. Ang bilis niyang i-blend and yung matte colors nila is very pigmented which is for 299 pesos talagang super sulit na guys i think this palette is worth it and this is a hit for me worth it pa din siya kahit na hindi maganda yung contour so it's still a thumbs up for me and that's it guys for today's video Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel. And mag-comment naman kayo sa baba kung ano yung, ano yung mga, mga type ng videos na gusto nyong makita. So, meron naman akong idea kung ano yung gusto nyong panoorin. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye! It's so pigmented. Can be compared to expensive ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye bye, baby. Love you. I love you.